here in my garage. I would have my Lamborghini with me, but it's actually in the shop right now. But you know what I like even more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Okay, so you had to see that really bad uh, Ty Lopez impression, but welcome to my balcony. Good morning. Uh, something just seems right and kind of peaceful about starting my day off with uh, this view with the mountains, the pool, and then having like a good book to read a chapter from, and then a cup of coffee, which I don't actually ever drink coffee. Like I've maybe had a combined five cups in my life. I don't like the taste of it. Uh, it does smell really good, I think, and the caffeine is unhealthy. So I typically avoid it for the most part, but something just feels right about it. I wanna try it out for this morning. This is gonna be my first kind of day of grinding for the off season. I've been pretty lazy these last couple weeks. Kind of took a week off after the Pro World Championships, didn't really wanna to touch a disc. And then I took kind of a week to, to drive all the way out here to Scottsdale, Arizona. It was like a 30 hour drive. And uh, this is probably my favorite place to actually spend the, the winter months. I love the Scottsdale area, the weather is incredible. The disc golf, not very good, but I typically do a lot of field walk and putting anyway, so that's kind of the same anywhere as long as the weather is nice enough. But today I want to look at some camera gear that I just bought, do some field walk, to eat lunch. I need to play my first uh, full practice round of the off season. Aside from that budget battle that I just did with three discs I got off the use rack, I need to go to the gym, of course. Maybe when I get back, I can jump in this pool, check that out. Hope you all enjoy. I don't really ever read. Sometimes I think for myself, it's really good for me to read a book like this, which one seems to be a lot about positive thinking and kind of creating success in your mind before you can actually make success happen. So it's called Think and Grow Rich, but I think the grow rich part can kind of mean anything. But let's get into some of the stuff I just got. I got a bunch of these little murals. This goes on the back of my phone. I think I'm gonna be using my phone for a lot of my filming for this off season. It doesn't really work super well because it's not convex. Domey basically, it's just like flat. If they were domey, then I could actually see myself more. I, all I can see right now is my microphone, pretty much. It's so zoomed in, but and you'll see in a second, but I got some space arms. This is gonna go around my microphone. I also got, this uh, XL Alta 3.5 millimeter cable, also for my camera, I'll show that in a second. Um, oh, I also got this tripod, which did not come with this ball joint, but that's gonna be super nice, I think, because I can actually adjust, but I'll be using that, I think, as well, just because it'll make things a lot easier. First of all, I got my camera. This is a Sony HXR NX80. I can talk about it a little bit more, maybe, on the course, but I typically have this uh, shotgun mic. Basically, I just want to see if my shotgun mic and my lav wireless mic will walk at the same time and if I can get my shotgun mic to fit alongside my lav mic. And I think it's going to walk out great. So that's going to be awesome. Cut one of these in half. So now with one and a half sleeves, it fits like perfect. Okay. Most important meal of the day, obviously, creatine. We got to get those gains, baby. Well, best sand ever, but let's go to the field and get some reps in. All right, here we go. Uh, one of my favorite things about this car, which I've had for about 10 months now, still always fun. Looks like a normal badge. It actually opens the car, so. All my discs, oh, budget battle discs. Whoever won those, you're welcome. Let's get ready, let's stretch. I'm at the field, time to practice, time to grind, baby. Okay, it is lunchtime, you already know what it is. Got some beans, gotta get that protein. Also, I wouldn't have had coffee this morning, but this Airbnb came with some free K-Cups. First time using a Kellogg machine. It is what it is. I added some of this uh, plant-based oat crema, which helped with the taste a little bit, but wasn't my favorite. Also, I don't really feel jacked up at all, so I don't really know if it had any effect, but this is like 1,600 calories of beans, maybe. I don't know, maybe 2,000. 
Also, that field work practice session, I was out there for about two hours. Horrible practice session. I could not control the disc. My nose angle was pretty good, and my forehand was actually feeling kind of good. But my backhand was sporadic. Putting was all over the place. Everything feels horrible. Kind of to be expected, I guess, taking two weeks off. It was also a little bit windy, which always kind of makes field work a little bit less productive. But either way, I've got hopefully a good week here ahead of me to kind of get my game back, feeling like normal, and, um, and I can kind of build on it from there. But but today was not good. Since I'm filming on my phone right now, I can't be on my phone. And it's crazy to think that there was a time for the majority of this planet where people just didn't have phones. It's like, what? It's so boring to not have a phone and to not like, you know, constantly be stimulated. I'm just eating my beans. It's like, I don't know. It's real, man. Gives you too much time to think. I don't know if I like it. Okay, I have made it to Vista del Camino, which is gonna be probably my primary course this off season. Not the best course, but I can shape some lines and make some stuff walk. So let's just get right into it, hold on. Oh, let me, uh, hold on. Here we go. I'm a real YouTuber now. I know it looks stupid, but uh, it is functional, so we're gonna stick with it. This ceiling has gotten so much lower to make this, to make this shot so difficult. You have to keep it so low. Look at that shot. Oh, man. I, I love that. I just love that dish right, right now. I'm not going to show every shot because uh, that would be a very long video. But welcome to my first full kind of practice round for the off season. Hoping for a little bit more flip out of my passion on this one. It's going to fade out to the left. Apologies for the really bad quality on the zoom guys doing it all in post today So it's not gonna be quite the quality we're used to Ooh, second post was not good This tight Annie shot I think is gonna be really useful going forward I'm gonna try to dial this in throughout this offseason having something start on a little Annie then kind of finish flat to control The ground play is gonna be really useful two putts in a row. No way So I'm used to all these baskets on this XL layout being in the memorial layout But it looks like some of these might be in different spots like this one's off to the right so if they keep moving baskets, so that, that's kind of good because it makes it a little bit easier than to, to practice different shots. I like that. It might be a little bit short, but I can't complain. I have thrown discs over those houses, so at least one in my life, so let's hopefully not do that. It's good. As I'm walking here, I might as well talk a little bit about my season. I'm actually going to start back in the end of 2022. So after that season, I wasn't very happy with how I played. I felt like I could have practiced more consistently, and I feel like that might have been part of the reason. So going into that 2022 off season, I really kept up the practice. I, I practiced a ton, a lot of putting, a lot of throwing, very diligent, very consistent with it. And I just, I, I really didn't want to have kind of the same feelings that I had after 2022 again. You know, I wanted to make sure that I did everything I could to play well and prepare. And so 2022's off season, last off season, it kind of made a commitment to myself to practice a lot throughout the season as well for 2023. 2023. And I actually stuck to that very well. So for the first half of the season, I was very happy with my results. I picked up a few top tens pretty quickly, a podium. Um, and then after, a few tournaments where I was close to a top 10. I think I was a couple strokes off at like three tournaments back to back. Um, and I just got 17th or 18th place instead. Um, I rolled my ankle pretty bad and didn't practice for a couple weeks and then went to Europe somehow with ibuprofen, I guess. Played very well at European Open, got a podium and then uh, got back to the United States. Played like absolute trash. And uh, let me uh, get the next hole and I can continue. Kind of like that, I think. Yes. That'll do. So yeah, I started playing really bad. Uh, a couple bad tournaments back to back once I got back to the States. And uh, it's really easy to have things kind of spiral. You know, you, you play bad and then you get negative thoughts and then you don't want to play and it just makes everything, it's a snowball effect. And it just makes everything worse and kind of pulls everything down. So 
that really sucked. Um, but even though like the desire to want to play and the passion started fading away, I did keep the discipline and dedication up, which I think is probably more important because without that, you won't actually train or anything or try for improvement. So I kept that up and actually practiced super consistently and a lot for the last like month and a half or two months of the season. And uh, unfortunately did not see any results from that. So that was also very disappointing, but I'm just hoping it's one of those things where we don't really know what the right timing is for stuff. And maybe, you know, and maybe we want, we want stuff to happen too quickly. You know, like obviously like I want results instantaneously, you know? So if I go put an hour into practice, I want to get better that day, but that's not necessarily how it works. So I'm hoping it's one of those things where all this practice that I've put in this last year is just going to take a little bit longer to pay off than, than I was hoping for. But let's make this putt. Got to make the 12 foot putts too, man. Also have to make the 25 foot putts. Oh, look at that, it's already paying off. So after kind of having those thoughts, you know, and feeling like, oh, well, even if I practice a ton, I still don't get the results, this sucks, you know, whatever. I gotta just get over it. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I gotta keep practicing. I gotta keep putting the time in. At some point, it will pay off the way I know it can and should. And then hopefully it'll all be worth it. No, it won't be. We all die and it doesn't matter, so. We'll see, but we're, we're here for now. Might as well grind. This has been my best disc for a long time. ESP Nuke, straight from Yuli's own collection. He's got a stamp on there. But the way this thing, it's shaped a little bit differently. I don't know what it is, but like the inside of the rim, it's a little bit different. And it's just got really good stability. And it's, it's getting a little bit understable now, but it's still really nice. Well, if this was a tournament, I think that'd be OB, but there's no lines right now, so we'll count it as a good shot. This last off season, or this, throughout this season, I practiced a lot, and putting was the main focus, and I actually improved my circle one putting a ton. I might put a graphic up to kind of show you guys, but my throwing needs to be a lot better, and that's really where most of the strokes are. You don't really go out of bounds putting very often, whereas you can go out of bounds throwing, so I really want to get the, the, the tee shots dialed in. For next season, I think that's going to be the biggest, hopefully, contributing factor to a uh, a more successful season. Season, even though last season was definitely my best season ever on a play standpoint and placing standpoint. Just, uh, just got to keep on, keep on improving, I guess. Uh, yeah. So this is so far OB. If it was a tournament, but we're gonna play it. I've never seen the uh, tree branch this low. Usually we can go underneath this, but it's pretty overgrown, so gotta go left. This is another great opportunity to practice this tight flex backhand. Didn't quite get as much angle out of my onyx as I wanted to, but it did have a nice flight and I'm pretty happy with that. The ring on top zone GT coming in clutch from the knee under the basket. So much fun to use this disc. And then just a little bit too much angle out of my hand with the Challenger SS and uh, that'll be a putt. It's just my nebula, honestly. <laughs> would hate to lose this disc, but... What would Drew Gibson throw? He'd throw a buzz. I'm gonna throw a nebula. <sighs> Pretty good. Pretty good, Drew Gibson. I like it. I like the mid shot. On these baskets, that's so surprising. Who would have thought this basket would spit out? Tight flex backhand yet again. This is kind of a sketchy shot going over this OB pond the whole way. I'm very happy with this result to give myself an opportunity. Sucks to miss the false putt, but the second one I can make the adjustment. Definitely want to capitalize on good shots like that. Uh, this forehand isn't quite as smooth as I'm hoping. Uh, definitely need to put some, some effort into that this offseason to get that dialed in. Giving myself an opportunity with a full zone into this basket, which looks like it's fading nicely and I am poked. That's going to be great. 
Going with a little bit flippier of an onyx on this shot to get some flip up. And it looks like I toned it over just a little bit too much. Going to get close to that rock path. Nice favorable skip though to get back into the fairway. Instead of going with a, with a typical zone forehand up shot, I'm going to actually throw the backhand to kind of walk on that shot. I left it a little bit left, but the step putt comes in clutch. Onyx yet again, nice flat release, a little bit lower than I'm hoping for. I'm going to get way too close to this rock wall, but just barely get over the edge with an opportunity to make a putt with this amazing background. I've got a pretty long walk here to the next, next tee box. Um, and to recap, I had a very solid season. I just have a sour taste in my mouth because of the way it ended. It's kind of like if you have a really good round going and then you bogey hole 18, you feel like absolute trash, even though it was still like a really good round. So for my thoughts going into this off season and into next season, I think the main thing I need to walk on improving is gonna be my tee shots, my throwing, um, keeping the disc in bounds. That's gonna be where I can gain the most strokes. I'm still chasing that win and I still want higher finishes and uh, to just keep improving. So right now my game is feeling pretty bad. I've had to cut out so many bad shots for this video, um, but you know, I'm still just getting right back into it and they don't expect to be good right away. So I feel like within a week I should be close to back to where I was at the end of the season and then hopefully I can build on that and uh, come back super strong for 2024. Going big high spike hyzer with my big Z nuke trying to go over top of these trees Very difficult basket to attack with the water right behind it. I left it a little bit short left I don't want anything to do with that putt. Lay it up right into the pole Going passion up the middle trying to get a nice little flip up out of it Didn't quite tone it enough, but I'm still pretty happy with this shot Should give myself an opportunity to try to give myself a throw-in option not even close I mean, that's not even that's horrible, but it's tapping putt Going up the middle on this uh, hole 15 here with the onyx, I would typically go left, but there were some people over there didn't want to hit anybody, but it still puts me in position to have this kind of wide, hopefully skip shot with the cap wrap. I got the skip, and that's gonna be very close to the basket. Should be able to knock this one down. Going slight flip up, dead straight, Challenger SS right at the basket. This should be perfect. Let's see if we can get an ace for you guys here on hole 17 at Vista del Camino, XL layout. Oh, okay. Flippy Charlie SS, a little bit too flippy, not quite the ticket. Straight Charlie SS, not quite stable enough. Zone, highs are forehand, way too high. Cap wrap, forehand spike, close. <sighs> well, the basket's safe today. All right, hole 18. Really bad practice round. I did throw some good shots, obviously, since I had them on video, but a lot of them were really bad. I'm very sporadic and inconsistent. My putting doesn't feel very good, but we're getting it back. We got some work we got to put in, but uh, we'll be back and dialed in in no time. Should be about 15 feet. Let's try off. Uh, Let's try a turnover shot. Big flex Annie, y'all. Oh, that's yanked. Oh no. Oh boy. Four! Those vehicles over there too. Oh, that didn't sound good. Just hope that didn't hit anything. <clears throat> that's gonna do it. 18 holes. Now I've gotta, I've gotta go find that. That one that I yanked over. All right, hopefully we can see it. So far, it looks good. Oh no, no way. You've gotta be kidding me, dude, my car. Oh my gosh, dude, I yanked at that. Holy crap, look at the damage on that thing. Uh, that's crazy, that's crazy. You know, I actually got into a, a little bit of a fender bender. You know, I'm trying, trying to film a typical, like, day in the life here. And uh, what more typical than uh, getting into my daily car accident, you know? But thankfully, it should be all the other person's fault, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, as you can tell, it was a Jeep, but time to go to the gym. Let's get those off-season games going. So this gym is super packed, so I decided not to walk out right now. It's like the peak time to go. It's full of people. I don't really feel like filming because I think that's kind of rude. Um, but I did pick up a shake when I was in there. This is the red light special, I guess is the name of it. It's got some vegan protein powder, some almond milk, some 
strawberries, some um, beets, some other red uh, stuff, and uh, it's actually really good, so this will tide me over on my drive to the other gym, which should have less people, and I'll probably just go a little bit later as well. Finally made it to the gym, and thankfully, at this time of the night, not as many people here, so I'm, I am able to get some filming done. Um, I'm doing some shoulder press right now. I'm not gonna show every single exercise that I do, or obviously every single set, since that would be way too long of a, of a uh, section of this video, but the main change that I'm making this off season versus in previous years is I'm trying to actually up my weight for pretty much every exercise. So instead of hitting close to failure or failure at like eight or 10 to 12 reps, now I'm upping my weight and I'm hitting my failure point at more like five to eight reps. So I'm hoping that this is going to help build some actual strength and then kind of lay the foundation to maybe kind of push my physique, I guess, to the next level once I go back to that a little bit higher rep range, but still trying to have good technique for the most part, still trying to get close to failure on every set. That's gonna be kind of the, the key stuff. And the other significant change for this offseason is going back to a two-day split instead of my three-day split. So instead of doing half upper body on one day, half the next, and then leg day on the third day, I'm going to be doing all of my upper body on one day and then leg day on the other day. So it gives me a chance to kind of put more of a focus and emphasis onto my legs. And hopefully, even though it's difficult, hopefully I can put some more size on my legs. Not going to be able to focus as much on my upper body, but I don't need as much help there. So I'm so far I'm liking the changes and that uh, should be fun. I feel like this is gonna be super cold and it's really late at night, so this is gonna suck. Oh, I'm gonna rotate. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Baby, 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 baby.